if we don't know the movement, the thinking, the problem, the constraint, the resource, the potential of each family and each uh, community, we cannot build a new society for the countries. Với mục tiêu hướng đến sự phát triển bền vững, Liên Hợp Quốc đã kêu gọi sự cải tiến dữ liệu. Việt Nam cùng UNU Wider, Viện Nghiên cứu Kinh tế Phát triển Thế giới thuộc Đại học Liên Hiệp Quốc và các thành viên đã thiết lập biểu đồ dữ liệu về sự phát triển nhanh chóng của các quốc gia. Lật bài video tại đây sẽ chia sẻ một số bài học đã được rút ra. My name is Đặng Kim Sơn. I was the director of IPSA. It is short name of Policy and Strategy Research Institute of Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in Vietnam. They invite me to come to the party conference and talk with the president, prime minister, secretary of the party, every key person about the agriculture and rural area. When the development process happened, most of the farmers leave the rural area. They will go to the city, they will go to factory, they will move to the non-farm activity. So what happened with them during that process? Uh, what is the income of them? What is the job of people inside of each farm household? To know about the changing of the structure of each family and whole uh, community is very important. Only one way we can do that, that is follow the track of each family. From they start in the rural area, in farm economy, during the process that they move to another one, the year 2002, there are no any data set like this. This survey is repeated again and again in the same data panel, and it creates opportunity for researchers to see uh, very deep inside of each family and follow them for the whole life of the development. This data set divide not only until each family, but it also see for different plot of land. And that is no any data set have that value. So we know that, okay, in what farmer changing in their mindset, they changing in, in, in their strategy of using resource. And two very big program already been launched from that time. First is a restructure agriculture sector. And the second, is a new rural development program already been set as a national targeted program. I think our study has very strong influence in that decision.